Welcome to Garage Time with Goody. And what we're gonna to do today is replace a blower motor resistor in a 2008 GMC Acadia SLT1. The first thing you want to do is you want to match up your parts, the part numbers, to your old resistor. Because if not, then that would be bad. You would just have to order the part again. Also, I want you to know the symptoms of if you have a bad resistor on your blower motor. If you turn the car on, which I'm going to do now, and you can see here I'm going to change the speed of the fan and you can see I've waited a couple of seconds and it's not putting out any more air I, I turn it up and it's still the same and it's still the same so it is not responding at all so if you have a car that is not responding and that's not increasing or decreasing the speeds, then that is the resistor to your blower motor. And this is how you replace it. First off, you wanna to go to the passenger side of the car and underneath, you're gonna locate underneath the glove box, a plastic covering and that is going to need to be removed to access the blower motor resistor and I'm going to show you how to remove that okay you want a small flathead screwdriver because there's going to be these plastic what I call rivets there's one here and one here and you need to put a flathead screwdriver underneath to pull these little plastic pins out You can see they're not too hard to pull out. And once it pulls out, this is gonna be what you're pulling out. And there's gonna be two of these. And then I'm gonna go for the second one, which is over here. Just like that, the second one is out. As you can see, this is just coming down very easily. This whole piece right here, just grab a hold of it and twist it slightly to the left and that will let it out of the plastic casing. And then you can remove this plastic casing and get that out of your way. And then this puts us underneath to reveal the blower motor and the blower motor resistor. Now the resistor to the blower motor is going to be up here. I'm going to get you a better view of it. Okay, as you can see, this is the blower motor. And this is right under the dash. This is the resistor. You're going to want to unplug these wiring harnesses. So just unplug the wiring harness. There should be two of them. Now this is a used car. So if in your car, if you have a screw right here and right here, you, you'll want to remove those. They're already removed for me. So whatever works best for you guys, there is a tab like this on the bottom and one on the top. I used a flathead screwdriver to pop the one on the top and this one on the bottom right here, I held with my hand. And once you get both of them popped out, 
the blower motor resistor should just come right on out just like that and as i mentioned before these uh acadias have problems with leaks and i've already fixed that so you can see the corrosion where water has leaked in on this heat sink and probably shorted this out and made it bad so we're going to replace that part now with the new part what i'm going to do now is open the new re uh, resistor looks like this it has a heat sink that's to dispense the hot air off of this part in case it gets hot keeps it cooled down and on this particular car, this is what the plug-in looks like. And brand name and the part number. Now, as you can see, this right here is where I took the old one out and I'm about ready to mount the new one in there. See, this is a close-up of the new one. Looks all nice and looks all nice and shiny. No damage. Make sure you move the wiring harnesses out of the way. And it should just clip in there. If you heard that clip, just snaps right in there. Let me make sure the top is clipped. There's a top clip that is clipped in. The bottom clip is clipped in. And then you wanna re-hook up the wiring harnesses. There's two of them. Now, once you have the wiring harnesses clipped back in, the one with the power source is on this side. You see it's a red and black and black, which is negative, goes right here. And the one with the purple and black goes on the left. Now, before I put all of this back together, what you wanna do is to turn on your car and see if those different speeds to your air conditioner work now. And now the moment of truth. We start the car. And if you can hear that, I have the air conditioner set on one. Okay. And I have the vent pointed at us. And I'm going to be a little quiet to see if you can hear the different speeds as it should change. You can see it's working just fine and the operation was a success. Now I'm going to take it back down. I'm going to slow it down all the way. And also before it actually wouldn't turn off. So I'm going to make sure it turns off. And as you can see, it turned off perfect. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is to take this plastic shield right here, which goes underneath the glove compartment. Now, a thing I forgot to tell you when you first take this off, you wanna feel here to see if there's any water. In my case, there's not because I fixed the water leak, but in these GMC Acadias 2008 and similar models, they're known to leak and that could be what blew out your uh, resistor to begin with. Anyways, there's no leak and this plastic shield is going to go back. Now, the first thing you want to do is to put the light, screw it back on and it don't fits on there and it, it just screws one way to the right there. You wanna make sure that you get this on just right. If you remember these guys right here, that's all there is to it. 
you're gonna wanna put those back. You push it up first. Make sure you push the plastic cover up first before you push this down. If not, it will make the end too big and it won't go in. I've got the left one in over here and I'm pushing it up. Now I'm gonna put the right one in and I'm gonna push it up. And as you can see, it's on there good and it's not coming down. And that is how you change the blower motor resistor in a 2008 GMC Acadia.